How you doing campers? Welcome back for another episode of Free and Budget Campsites. Queensland. Mate, before we get right into the show, just a quick reminder to turn your notifications on. If you haven't done it already, hit that subscribe button and at the end of the video, give us a thumbs up, a thumbs down, totally in your hands. Anyway, my name's Peter. I'm traveling around Australia, testing road sites and caravan parks. We're in 100 kilometers north of Townsville at the moment at a place called Jamama Falls. Here it is on the map just outside of Townsville itself. It's a little bit of off the beaten track, off the main highway, around six to seven kilometers from the main highway out to here. Look, there is a bit of a dirt track that you actually have to follow to get out here. It's not that bad, it's a little bit of corrugated, but I will give you a bit of a warning. When you come in here, it's a one-way track. So when you do come here and you've got two vehicles coming up to each other, well, one of you just have to reverse and have to pass. Look, there's not many places to pass on this road on the way out here. And you've just got to make the best of it when you're on your way out here too. If you leave nice and early, you'll probably get no one coming in here around that time. Just a bit of a heads up with this park. It is in a national park area, so dogs, sorry, it's not dog friendly. And there's a few other little things you can't really do out here. Generators, you have to have a lot of solar on here. You can't start your generator out here. There's a sign up here that says, no generators. And fires are not permitted here at all, not even in a fire pit. Look, the ranger's just down the road from there. He does come up here all the time to check this place out. Now. If you want to come to this place, you actually have to go onto the government website, which is on the bottom. You have to go on there, pick where you want to go, pick the days, Bob's your uncle, and you're here. It is a very cheap campsite. It's $7 a night. It works out 28 bucks a night for a family of four. That is what it is. And it is a quite a nice campsite. Look, if you've got a big rig, I'm talking about a big rig like mine, I just got in here. So if you've got a small rig, tents, a van or anything else don't worry about it get your ass in here and there's a lot of overhanging trees righto let's get in the park and have a look righto little water facilities here look they've got taps all around this park but it does say on top of the tap itself please treat water before you drink it so look you can go to the camp shops buy those little tablets plop it in believe it or not you've got to wait 24 hours before the water is able to drink bring your own water it's a lot easier, but there is water here to do your dishes, wash your clothes if you want, do anything you need to do, but there is water out here. I'm going to have a look at the Barbies. Let's get out of here and have a look at it. The camp kitchen. Well, it's not really a camp kitchen. It's a couple of Barbies next to a tap. Good enough for a camp kitchen. Look, they have got barbecues out here. They're electrical barbecues. They are for free. Everyone likes free stuff, don't they? And I have noticed on top of the barbecues, they are clean, good on you. I always say to all of my videos, if you're gonna come here and cook, and if you're gonna use the Barbies and you do make a mess of them, please clean them after. Now, if you can't clean them, there is an actual uh, silicon based sheet you can actually buy from a camp shop, put it across there, turn the barbecue on, and you can actually cook on the sheet. And you can wash the sheet off, roll it back up, put it in your van for next time. How cool is that? And they're undercover. Which is a plus for me. Sorry, your call can't the phone reception out here. Look, I'm looking at my phone right now and I have got no service. But my phone does go to 3G one bar if I walk around the park. Now I'm going to do a speed test in the van, but fat chance is going to find nothing in there. So look guys, when you come out here, you need to book here first on the website. Once again, website's down the bottom. Once you get to the website, pick the park you want to go to, and then you get a tag, put it on the thing, because like I said before, the rangers do come up here now and then and check your tags out. Look, it's pretty cheap here, it's seven bucks. You can't beat that. But anyway, the phone reception, ba bow Or, as Sheldon says at the Big Bang Theory, boo. Rightio, duty groovers, welcome back. Mate, just a bit of a mention, when you're down at the campsite, come up to the falls. They are really, really nice. And there's plenty of places for you to take a dip in private. Look, it is a really nice waterfall. It starts from way up there, comes down, 
comes to these ones and uh, you know how it is, it cascades all the way down to the bottom and it is fantastic, it is beautiful up there. And the walk is not too bad, like uh, look if you've got bad angles don't come, it's not wheelchair access, um, so when you do come here, look just do yourself a favour, wear some sensible shoes, but look when you do come here, it is a great little walk up here, just mind your steps and everything else, the rocks can be slippery and it is a fair way down there, ready? Whoa! Fall down, go boom! Righty, Ake, welcome back. We've made it to the Falls Lookout. Seriously, if it's a bit of a walk up here, I'll give you that much. It's around 450 meters from down the bottom, up a winding track, up to here. And it does work you out. I am a bit sweaty at the moment, so I can't wait to go home for a shower. But the climb is worth it. Look what I'm looking at right now. How cool is this, Clampers? And there's pools down there you can actually swim in. To get to the, some of these pools, it's a bit of a walk, but it's worth it when you get there. Mate, seriously, oh look, I'll give you a heads up. The water is freezing. Hey, but when you walk up here, you want to go for a swim, trust me. But what a view. I'm just going to sit here and marvel at the beauty of Australia's outback scenery. We got the best. guys the toilet facilities look they're not too bad they're a wheelchair access toilet they've got uh, females they've got a wheelchair access toilet and they've got males look they've got toilet paper uh, they've got no hand sanitizer and they've got no paper towel does have water out here non-drinkable please remember do not drink the water while you're out here unless you get those little tablets Put them in there, wait 24 hours, then you can drink them. So look, just bring your own water, it's a lot easier. But there's water in there to wash your hands. Now, they're an old school toilet, they are flushable, but you actually have to pump your foot on the actual ground for the water to flush and everything. And it's got a bit of a flip lid so you can see your poo before it goes down. Ah, oh, well, it is what it is. Now, these toilets are pretty clean. Uh, they are looked after. I'm assuming there might be a drop toilet down there, but it used the water to flush it and then drop it down because most drop toilets are off the ground, so the poo can drop. As they say, shit drops. Anyway, out of five, there are three for sure. They even have showers. It's like a little outhouse, isn't it? But the only thing is, a bit of a heads up on that. It's cold. So look, on a cold day, you're not going to have a shower, mate. Seriously, you need to have a shower in your own van, or if not, Brave it, grab some big nuts, and get in the cold water and have a shower. Right, so here's some of the campsites around here. Look, the campsites are all spread out all throughout the actual campsite itself. Now, I had to find a spot for the sun, of course, because I've got solar. Now, seeing how you can't have generators in here, you need to pick a sunny spot so you can actually get some solar and get some power for you. Now, most of the campsites around here are pretty level. There is a few over here, which I'll show you throughout the show. They are a little bit unlevel. As you can tell right now, I've chalked up my van, say around 50 mils, 60 mils on one side, just to get it level. Now, look, this is a pretty good site. Now, it's not very busy here at the moment. So the good thing about it, I get to choose my spot. 
Now I've parked right near the barbecues. Now there are little pockets of campsites all around the place, which I'll show you throughout the show. And this is one of the campsites. Anyway, here's another little hideaway camp spot that you can pull into. Look, they're not too bad. They're a decent size. You can look, you just have to drive in there. You don't even have to unhook in most of these sites around here. They're quite large sites. Look, there is a lot of tree coverage around here. You need to pick your spot for the solar. But otherwise, these are pretty level. You don't even have to level up at all. Look, the campsite's not a large campsite. It's only a very, very small campsite, but it's enough to fit probably 10 caravans in here. The site can hold tents, RVs, vans, rooftop tents, you name it, it can get in here. But buses, sorry, can't get in here. Right, uh, just a few more little campsites I want to show you. Like this one here, for instance, it's a large site. Look, I don't know if you can fit two or three caravans. You can fit one over there, you can fit one there, and you can fit one up here. So this area can really fit three caravans quite comfortable around here. Look, two of them are undercover. But this one here, the grounds are quite level around here and you've got a little picnic table which you can come out and sit and have your meal. I hope you like the campsite of, see if I can pronounce this right again, Jowamar Falls. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up, totally in your hands. At the end of the video, well actually you should have done it at the front of the video. Hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn your notifications on to get the latest videos when they come online. No worries. I'm going to the next campsite very shortly. You have a great weekend and I'll talk to you soon.